So it's interesting, um, you know, when you talk about someone who's really overperforming at the level they're at, and then do you move them to the next level, people tend to see their careers as linear. And yet, in hindsight, we all know that's not true. In fact, some of the best moves you can make are horizontal. But that's not the way people think. They think, am I always moving forward? Is someone coming in in front of me that's going to somehow slow me down? And I think what's important is not whether you allow them to move up, but when you allow them to move up. Because taking a person who is really resilient in the role that they're in and changing their role at a critical time of change is kind of unfair. You're not only putting them in a position where they got to grow into their role, you're doing it at a time when they're getting hit from all sides with change. It's like sticking someone out on a limb and then shooting bullets at them. Like, of course they're going to fall. And so part of it is, as the senior leadership, being able to look out and know when you're going to be driving that change and let people adjust their roles at a time when they can get their feet wet and get comfortable before you start to shoot, you know, the bullets of change.